Okay, welcome to SAT 3310. This is scripting for administration and automation. Today we're going to be talking about Bash and working with SQL. So some things that we I want to cover today, uh, just some basic uh, Bash, uh, some SQL statements, how to use system calls in Bash using the backtick, how to do command substitution, uh, some more review on echo with bash and of course my favorite four X in Y type loops This is just a review of an SQL statement. You can see here. I'm setting a, a variable in bash and I'm say I'm just calling it my SQL statement. I know it's not very creative, but uh, then I'm just saying uh, my SQL language uh, selecting I want the manufacturer the average best altitude in the number of um, of, um, of, um, items from the wireless table. And I want the output grouped by the manufacturer and then ordered by, uh, the average of the best altitude. Uh, I also have just set up, um, some other, uh, variables here. Uh, I'm sending up my, uh, SQL program and what I'm saying here is the the SQL program I set up as a, a variable which would be in in our case SQL light uh, with the absolute path name and I also have some previous setup variables of my database path and my database file so that's my absolute path name and then I'm it's going to execute the SQL statement so you can see what what this would expand to would be uh, SQL light 3 uh, user local home wireless dot dbl and then actually execute the select manufacturer and so on um in here what we're looking at is this idea of um using uh command substitution so the old method that we had talked about before was uh, back ticking so you can see I'm, I'm creating a new variable called list uh, again not very creative but uh, and I'm back ticking to have that command interpreted within the back ticks that's actually the older and more depreciated style uh, what it should be is using the uh, string and parentheses style so you can see these two statements are equivalent to each other uh, the second statement using the the dollar sign string and then parentheses is the preferred method so again um, back tech and uh, uh, string parentheses so we just recall that everything in between the two back ticks are uh, evaluated by the shell before it's before it's actually executed so here's just another example uh, if you wanted to set a user ID um, or change the owner to some user ID you could actually say the command change own and then command substitute ID dash u which would produce the user ID um, so that is evaluated before the command is executed so that might uh, um, uh, evaluate to change own to Arnie and, and then some directory the newer uh, method of doing it again is just using the uh, string parentheses um, and uh, that's a more POSIX compliant method of doing it so change own uh, string parentheses rather than the back ticks. The nice thing about the the POSIX way of doing it, the more modern way, is that you can actually do some nesting where you couldn't before in um, using the back ticks. So change own, you could do things like change own that user ID and the um, tilde variable, which recall is your home directory. So just in summary, uh, I know it's going to get a little bit confusing, but um, a string curly brace is for working with variables. Uh, a string and then double parentheses is for doing mathematical functions. And a string single parentheses is for doing um, things like uh, our, our command substitution that we were just talking about.